hi guys welcome to my videos so guys today in this video i'm going to show you how you can fill up indian e-arrival information using their official su swagatam app before i proceed further if you have not already subscribed to my channel please go and subscribe right now and also i would like to clarify neither i am an immigration consultant nor i am a government body so in case you take anything out of this you do it at your own risk all right guys so let's proceed so guys india has launched su swagatam uh, e-arrival application for incoming passengers starting 1st of october and i have already shown you how you can do it online uh, i mean on your uh, mobile device as well as on your desktop device but there's another way that's called mobile app because a lot of us nowadays use app so for that what you can do you can use this indian visa su swagatam app that you see on your screen i have already installed that's why i'm getting the option to open otherwise when you come for the first time it will give you the option to install so you come here on the first page uh, you see they have this e-arrival card option tap it okay now if the same process if you have already entered and you want to make changes you can ret retrieve quick fill from existing data passport number country if you have not done and you are doing it for the first time you need to just scroll down and you see this option fill new arrival card so first of all full name so i'm not going to submit but i'm going to fill some sample data so i'm going to put sample information here so i filled up uh, name and nationality passport number be very careful guys no error purpose also i filled up now purpose i would recommend like make sure uh, it's my personal recommendation it aligns with your visa okay arrival date so today is 4th and it is allowing us to fill it up to 8th so whichever day you are going in reaching there check your itinerary check your ticket countries visited in last 6 days so you can go to select countries and select that you have visited if you have not visited just check this box address in india so if you have booked a hotel put their address uh, if you have booked an airbnb book that put that address if you are going to your own house or your relatives house or your friends house put that information okay state district select i'm going to put some sample okay next is email id put your email id that's very important your contact number and emergency contact number so for that select the isd code it's preferred to put indian number especially for emergency because in emergency it will be easier for anyone to um, contact someone uh, local rather than abroad but yeah if you have otherwise that's fine it's not a problem because when i had gone there they had asked me that if you have any local number put that so that's okay so i'm gonna put the email account and uh, then we'll take it's just a sample okay fine now if you have more than one member traveling like let's say you're traveling with your family your uh, spouse kids you can just tap on add member and add their information and if you want to add more you can add more and do okay and yeah and if you have dual nationality you see uh, yeah more nationality can be added here and then at the end select capture go for declare and tap on submit so of course i'm not gonna do this but uh, i'm not gonna submit but you got an idea how to do this so thanks for watching this please subscribe to the channel thank you